Oh, hey, how are you? We're doing uh, some potato gardening. So what we've done is we got some potatoes. They have little eyes on it. All the better to see you with, my dear. See, we got some little eyes. So we just cut up the potatoes so that each section of potato has an eye on it. This way we can get a better yield. So we got a bag full. I think we had about 18 potatoes in total. Um, we chose some organic because we like organic. And what we've done is we made a bed of straw. We've seen videos where you could actually take a bale and you can poke holes in it, put the potatoes in it. But um, I have contacts with a farmer. So with that farmer, I was seeing what the best method was and they told me this method. And so I bought some hay off of them because with hay, unlike straw, we can actually, it can be compost for next year. Whereas straw takes a really long time to break down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to put some of these potatoes just in the hay. I'm gonna mark them for now, um, but the best marker is gonna be when the plant comes up. You're gonna know exactly where the potatoes are. You don't have to really worry about it too much. You can just water uh, the hay, which sounds kind of crazy, but it keeps a lot of the bugs out of them, keeps them nice, and you can store them in the winter time. Because if this covers with snow, you, your potatoes will actually keep under that. Uh, there is, uh, in Molson Park here in Barrie, they would collect snow and put sawdust over it and hay uh, so they could do the, um, what was it, in the middle of summer they would have a snowmobile uh, competition which was pretty cool. So hay is an insulator so these will actually insulate your potatoes so you can have them during the winter time without storing them in the cellar or anywhere else. So, so let's go, we're going to plant a few basically. As I said, I'm just going to mark them right now. I'm just going to put them on top. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to wind up covering this whole area with another, another um, layer of the hay, which will be cool. Perfect. Nothing major. Just like that. So. And as I said, these markers, I'm just... I'm just marking it for now so when I put the other layer on, I'm not stepping on them and then we're not going to walk across this. So that's it. That's pretty much it. And look at the rest of our garden. <clears throat> we did some weeding today when we got here as a everything was growing that's a good sign if you get a lot of weeds that means that you have nutrient rich soil so your garden is really going to take off and we have lots of things coming up and every week we keep coming back more and more is coming up and don't forget to plant flowers we have marigolds all around the edge of our garden because bugs like marigolds and we want the bugs to eat the marigolds not the rest of our crop so happy gardening <laughs>